testing, Marco. Marco, are you getting these texts? Yeah, George. We're rolling. Got you loud and clear. Now, you gotta be real careful about it, you know? You know what would happen if they saw us texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, George. Don't worry about a thing. So, you got a good place to hide it? Cause sure as you're born, they're going to search your sale this weekend. Yeah. I got a great little panel I can loosen right behind my bed. No problem. Okay. Great. So, uh, your girlfriend smuggled these phones in for us, huh? Yeah. My girlfriend. I can't believe it, George. You got a prison guard to fall in love with you. How did you do it? What can I say? I got the magic. Women can't resist me. So, you talked her into getting us the phones? What about the rest? Relax. We have plenty of time. Hey, wait a minute. What about these phones? They're burners, don't worry. Plus, by the time they catch on, we'll be long gone, my man. So where are we going to go? Paraguay? Bolivia? Bolivia? Please. We're going where the air is fresh and warm and the women are sweet and shapely. Where's that? Brazil, my friend. Brazil. Oh, I see. So you want to go somewhere where the women have big butts? Precisely. Uh, well, okay, if that's your thing, but I'm going home. No, Marco. You are not going back to Peru. What do you mean? Why not? Because the first place they're going to be looking for us are the airports, dummy. Oh, well, what if I just lie low for a few weeks and then fly down? Your name is going to be on every list in the known universe. We're going to have to move, and move fast. Move where? Make our way down south, past the border, down through Mexico, and just keep going. That's a long way to walk, George. Well, we don't have to walk the whole way, Marco. After we get over the border, we can charter a flat, maybe. Bribe somebody. Who knows? The world will be our oyster. Yeah, but we gotta get out of here first. How are we gonna do that? Hey, I got a plan. I'm telling you. So, what is it then? Well, a tunnel, of course. A tunnel? Where is there a tunnel? Right under you. What are you talking about? I've been making a map out of crayons I stole from the art room. I've been making it for months now. Really? That's so cool. Yeah, and my cousin found the prison blueprints at the county library and got a copy for me. Dang, are you serious? You're a genius. I know. So, there's a catwalk on the other side of your cell that leads to a drop. From there, if you follow the lead pipe all the way to the first wall and then go through it, it's a short 300 yards to freedom. What do you mean? We're going under the main wall. Just pop out from the manhole cover, and that's it. Just keep all this between us. I hope that goes without saying, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes without saying. But you just said it anyway. I'm not a moron, all right? Did I say that you were a moron? No, but you made me feel like one. Well, that wasn't my intention. But it's how it made me feel. Then I apologize if I made you feel bad. If you made me feel bad? Oh, for God's sakes. Marco, you're the most overly sensitive con man I've ever met in my life. Shut up. It's not my fault. It's how my mama raised me. I had no daddy around. Just my sisters and grandma, you know? Well, that's great. Maybe you can tell the prison shrink about it tomorrow during group therapy. You're so insensitive. Whatever. Just hide the damn phone and get your tools ready. You're about to have some digging to do. Megan, are you there? George. Oh, George, yes, I'm here. I bet you're at home, all cuddled up and warm in bed. Yes, I am, actually. And I bet it's a lot nicer than the beds we have here, huh? Well, yes, it is, but George, you're going to have a bed like this soon, you know? The both of us will together, right? Of course, baby. You and I are going to run away together just as soon as I get out of here. You and Marco, right? Isn't he still part of the plan? Oh, yeah. Marco, too, of course. I can't wait, George. I can't wait to leave all of this behind. My doofus husband, Paul. That horrible job. How did you ever become a prison guard, anyway? We both became prison guards. That's how we met. Besides McDonald's, it's the only job in this dump of a town. You're going to have to leave this job in this town. And most importantly, him behind you forever. 
So when, though? When is this breakout finally going to happen? You better not be all talk, George. Me? All talk? I robbed seven banks all throughout the Southwest, and I only got caught one time. Well, it only takes one time, right? But at least it brought me to you, Megan. Please, call me Meg. Okay, um, Meg? So what else do you need from me, baby? Well, I guess we need tools. Tools? Mm, okay. Paul has all kinds of tools in the shed. No, we can't use his. He'll know they're missing and put two and two together. Okay, well, what should I do? You're going to have to buy new tools and be discreet about it. Use cash, destroy the receipts. Use cash, destroy the receipts? Got it. So when can you get them? Um, well, I have the weekend off. Okay, great. But what about your husband? He's working at the prison. So first thing Monday, we'll get some tools into us. I'll get them to Marco, and the dancing monkey can finally start digging. You're going to make him do all the work. Are you kidding? I've already done almost all of the work. I came up with the whole plan. I've done everything with you. Everything with me? Um, yeah. I mean, all the tools and stuff. The phones. You know. Is that it, George? Is that all I've helped you out with? Oh, um, moral support, too? Huh? Now, I don't think anything we're doing is moral, babe. But what about physical support? Oh, yeah. That, too. Oh, George, this is going to be amazing. A dream come true. Where do we go? Paris, Amsterdam, Spain, maybe? Why stop there? We can go anywhere and everywhere we want. Oh, that's what I like to hear, George. But we have to be smart about this thing. We can't just be flying by the seat of our prison blues. Right, I know. No one has busted out of this joint in 25 years. Can you believe it? Well, yes, I can. The place is pretty locked down. Not too locked down for us, though. I really do believe in you, George. But are you sure that you and Marco can pull this off? Um, what did you just say? I mean, I know that you can do it, but that Marco, I don't know about him. He's on the level. Don't worry. But he got caught during his first bank robbery, right? The die blew up on him, and he crashed into that Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, but he didn't kill any kids or anything. Just slightly injured a few. Oh, well, I didn't even know that any were hurt. We're going to do this thing, baby. I'm going to get out of here for good and never, ever come back. We are going to get out of here, George. We. Oh, um, right. We. Hey, George. What gives, man? Where are you at? I'm out in the yard and we gotta talk, brother. I was taking a nap, Marco. What are you doing? Texting me from the yard? You idiot! You better be off in a corner somewhere with your coat on your head. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Nobody can see me. Don't worry about that. Well, what the hell do you want? I'm exhausted over here. Oh, you're exhausted? What are you so exhausted from? I'm the one doing all the work. What do you mean? I mean, I'm the one down there in that tunnel, night after night, sweating my body weight, busting my butt, digging that damn tunnel for you. You're digging that tunnel for yourself too, Marco. Don't forget that. You want out of here just as bad as I do, right? Well, yeah. You want to go home? To Peru? You want to see your mama and sister again? Of course I do. You know I do. Wait. Now I'm allowed to go to Peru? I don't care where you go, Marco. As long as we get out of here and never get back in. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about that. As soon as I'm out of here, I won't be getting so much as a speeding ticket ever again. You better be setting the cruise control until we hit the border, my friend. So, I have a little bit of a problem, though. A problem? What kind of a problem? Well, there's a tool I need that I don't have. Are you kidding me, Marco? You mean to tell me that I didn't give you everything that you need? Hey, I'm tunneling through a five-foot-thick concrete wall, man. I've never done this crap before. Fine. What tool do you need? I need glasses with a flashlight on them. What now? You need... what? Reading glasses with a light attached. They have them. They're used for work. Can you get them? I've never even heard of such a thing. 
Well, you can find them on Amazon. You mean Meg can find them on Amazon? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. No, that is not what you meant. It's not? No Amazon. No records, remember? Oh, right, yeah. There's nothing that you've done or said that would trace that phone call back to us, right? No outside calls or texts. Um, nope, nothing like that. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just keep working on the wall. I'll get you your dang glasses. Okay, but when? As soon as I can, alright? But the holiday's coming up and the staffing will be down. That's our best shot. Our best time to do it. Well, maybe you should have asked me for these glasses a month ago then. I didn't know that I needed them until now, okay? Fine, fine. Just keep working. Well, I really could use some help down there on that wall. Don't I have enough to do and worry about, Marco? And plus, I have a bad back. Oh, uh, you have a bad back, so that's why you can't help me down there? And how the hell am I supposed to escape from this hellhole if I can't even walk out of here because I get some back injury? All because you're too lazy to work. Oh, I'm too lazy? Am I too lazy? Just give me the dang glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hon. How are you doing? I've been trying to get a hold of you for a few days now. Oh, George, I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. And what have you been so busy with? Well, my husband, mostly. His mother's ill and we had to go up and see her. Oh, that's too bad. So, listen, I need a favor from you. Another one? What else do you need? I thought everything was all set. I mean, I thought we were leaving in a few weeks. We are, we are. It's just that Marco and I need a little bit more time to make it through the wall, that's all. I guess that Marco's eyesight isn't quite what it used to be, and he needs some type of reading glasses with a light on them. Glasses with a light on them? What are those? I don't know. He said that you can get them off of Amazon, but don't get them off of Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, why not? Because they'll trace them back to us, Meg. I told you. Okay, okay, I'll go to Walmart. I'll see if I can find them. So, what about your husband? What about him? Is he going to be gone that week? You mean the weekend that you're going to escape? Yes. Yes, of course, Meg. Yes, he's going up to visit his mother at the hospital. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, uh, how is she doing? Is she going to pull through? Well, we really don't know, actually. It's been pretty touch and go. Oh, well... I'm sorry to hear that. Do you still talk to your mother, George? My mother? Um, I don't like to talk about my mother. Is she... is she living still? I... Said that I don't want to talk about her. Damn it! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. But you know that you can tell me anything, right, babe? I mean, you've already trusted me so much. I haven't talked about my mom with anyone for a long time. You mean since you went inside? Inside prison? Um... Really, George? It's okay. Okay. Well, I loved my mom dearly, and she loved me. But we had our issues. What happened? We... Well, there was a girl. A girl? Yes, a girl that I wanted to marry. What was her name? I haven't said her name in 17 years. What was it, George? Her name was Gail. Gail? Yes, Abigail. And I loved her dearly. What happened with Abigail? She was young. Younger than me, but much more mature. I was lost. A criminal. A bad seed from the very beginning. I didn't deserve her. My mother knew this. Of course, she never said that. But Gail and her were close. When I got busted down in Houston, she wanted to stand by me, but her mother told her to go. To go? She told her to leave you? Yes. She knew what was best, even if it was going to hurt me. And it did. It hurt more than anything. I'm sorry, George. It must have killed you to have a mother betray you like that. That's how I saw it at the time, but... But now? I think she was just watching out for us. For both of us. But I took it as an excuse to go off the rails. What did you do? Drugs. Lots of them. And drink. Yeah, I robbed those banks. But to tell you the truth, I don't remember any of it. 
Wow, so you were really messed up. I was a different person then. Baby, you have to believe me. I believe you, George. I know deep down there you're a really good person who wouldn't hurt anyone. You wouldn't hurt a fly. No, I never would. I never hurt anybody in my life, Meg. I swear. Oh, George, it's going to be okay. We're going to get you out of here, and we're going to get you a second chance. The one that the judge refused to give you. With your help, and love, and a little bit of luck. God, George, don't forget about the Lord. Uh, yes. And the Lord. We'll make it out, and I can finally do some good in the world. Pay it back for all the bad I've done. You know, Meg? I would be honored to give you that chance, George. George, George, did you get those glasses from your girlfriend, the guard? Damn it, Marco. She is not my girlfriend. You know, I'm just using her so we can get out of here. Yeah, but you like her at least a little now, don't you? Have you seen that woman? Who could love that? Well, her husband must love her. Yeah, well, have you seen him? So you're just lying to this woman about your affections for her? Of course I am, Marco. I'm a criminal sociopath. That's what I do. Well, did she get the glasses or not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She got them. Oh, great. Are they the good ones? The good ones? What difference does it make? Well, quality is everything, George. I don't want the glasses crapping out on me when I'm in there. You know, all alone? Well, when do you want them? Now? Today? I'll give them to you in the yard. Just try to be a little more discreet with the handoff this time. Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't know how I dropped that nail file. If the guard had seen that, we would have been dead meat. Do you understand that? We would be put in the hole, and then our plans would all be for nothing. They'd move your sail, and then some other lucky con would get to bust out. Alright, fine. So how long do you think it's going to take after you get your precious little glasses? You mean, to break through the wall? Of course, to break through the wall. What else? Um, I don't know. Maybe just one more week? One week, huh? Well, I suppose that puts us right on schedule. I told you that I could do this. You don't believe me when I tell you these things. You never had faith in me, George. Well, consider my faith restored if you get through that wall, Marco. So, what do I do after I get through the first wall? That's when you're going to text me. Tell me that you're through, and I'll come down. How are you going to get down here? What do you think? Oh, your girlfriend, huh? Is she going to let you out? Yes. Of course, Meg is going to get me out, and then I'll get down to where you're at through the electrical room. I'll meet you at the wall, and then we'll get to the main wall together. We'll go right under, right out of the manhole, and be home free, my brother. But then what? I mean, after we get out of the manhole. That's when Meg picks us up, of course. She's got the minivan parked a half a block away. She'll come by, we'll hop in, and then it's home free. Margaritas and hula girls, right, George? That's right, Marco. Now, I'll give you your magic light glasses, and we can finish this thing once and for all, okay? Okay, George, let's do it. Okay, Megan. Are you all set? You know the plan. You better know it backwards and forwards by now, right? Yes, George, I have it. You get out, text me, and I come get you. No, just park half a block down, and we'll go and meet you. Okay, right. And then we're going to stop by my house, right? What do you mean your house? No. We're getting out of town immediately, Meg. We have to. I have to put as much distance from this prison as humanly possible, don't you see? Okay, well what about Marco? To hell with Marco. What do you mean? Isn't he going to be in the van with us? I'm getting in the van, and then you are driving off. You got that, Meg? But how are you going to stop him? I'm bigger than him. I'm faster. Don't worry about it. I'll leave little Marco in the dust. But didn't he do all the work to bust you guys out? Yeah. But I'm the mastermind behind the plan. Don't you get it? I made the plan, I got the blueprints. You got me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got you, babe. So that husband of yours is gone? Yeah, well, his mother. Yeah, his mother? Well, she actually passed in the night. Oh, well, good timing then. What? What do you mean? Well, he'll be too distracted by all of that to worry about, you know. About his wife running away with an escaped convict? Well, yeah, baby. Hey, wait a minute now. You ain't having second thoughts about our little plan, are you? No, certainly not, George. I just, I guess I feel bad for my mother-in-law is all. Well, you shouldn't feel too bad for her anymore now, should you? I guess not, George. All right. I'll see you tonight. Half a block from the prison wall. Okay, George. Wish me luck, babe. Good luck. Marco, where are you? I went west. Uh, I don't know. I went east. Are you sure that it was a good idea for us to split up? I can't believe this. I can't believe that woman hung us out to dry. I can't believe that she didn't show up. I thought you trusted her, George. I did. I do. Maybe she's just late. Yeah, that's it. She just got held up somewhere, and now she's on her way. She'll be here any minute. You'll see. Face it, George. She screwed us. She played you. The guards are probably on their way out here right now to get us. This whole damn thing is probably a setup. No, no way. Well, I'm out of here. I'm splitting, man. Wait, where are you going? Far away from here, I'll tell you that. Maybe we should just band together, though. Maybe you're right. You know, strengthening numbers. I don't know, George. I don't think so. Wait, what do you mean? What are you talking about, Marco? I mean, I think you've been taking advantage of me for a long time, using me to get out of here. And I've just about had it. Oh, yeah? So what are you going to do about it then, huh? Thanks for the plan, George. But you're on your own now. Wait, Marco! Wait! Meg! Meg! Where the hell are you? I'm roaming the streets in my prison blues trying to find a car to steal, because your van isn't here where it's supposed to be picking me up. So where are you? George, I'm sorry, but I couldn't do it. What? What do you mean you couldn't do it? I couldn't come and pick you up. I couldn't run away with you no matter how much I wanted to or how much I thought I wanted to. You mean you don't want to anymore? Or do you mean you were lying the whole time to me, Meg? No, no, it's just with Paul's mom dying and all. I think I just may need to be with him right now. But... but what about the plan? What about Europe or wherever? I'm sorry, George, but it's over. Well, you know what, Meg? What is it, George? You're so dense. Do you know that? What? What are you talking about? Don't you get it, Meg? I was only using you this whole time. I was just using you to get out of this place. Smuggle us in tools. But what about everything you said to me? I was just buttering you up, baby. But what about the lovemaking in the broom closet? That was, well, all right. There was some passion there, I must admit. If you didn't feel something for me, George, you wouldn't have told me about your mother. You wouldn't have opened up to me about her the way you did. I guess you're right. Like I said, you're the only one that I've told any of that stuff to. So where are you right now? I'm just walking along the suburban streets. All the houses look so nice. I bet happy families live there. Nice kids and happy moms and dads. Living the kinds of lives that I'll never know. I'm sorry, George. But you still have a chance, don't you, Meg? You still have a choice. I mean, I'm a bad man. It's been shown. Maybe I have a chance to be redeemed, maybe not. But when the blue and red lights appear, at least I'll know what I'm capable of. That's very big of you, George. You've come a long way. Yeah, well, don't tell that to any of the other guys in the pen, would you? Oh, I don't think I'll be working there much longer. Why not? Why do you say that? Because once they find out I was involved in all of this, I'm gonna go to prison with you. Well, Marco is a career criminal, so he never talks to the police. Plus, he hasn't even been caught yet. And what about you? Are you going to talk? 
I don't have to. But you will? Here come the lights. I see them. It's foggy out. Don't fight them, George. Just give up easily. I said I'm never going back, Meg. And I mean it. George, no! Well, well, well. Look who's here. My old friend George. How have you been? How did you get this number? I still have some contacts back in the pen. So, I heard they pumped you full of lead after they caught up with you. That's too bad. Yeah, well, my partner abandoned me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had somewhere to be. It's okay. I would have done the same thing. So, did you end up where you wanted to be? I ended up where I'm supposed to be. I hope someday I get there too, Marco. Maybe you will, George. George had six and a half years added to his sentence for the escape attempt. It would have been less, but he refused to give up his accomplices. Megan stayed with her husband and never told him of the affair with George. She soon transferred to a different prison upstate. Marco made his way down through Central America, then South America, and finally to Peru, where he was reunited with his loving family. But he would be looking over his shoulder for as long as he lived.